Hello and welcome to the Comlex Instant Review. Let's review the treatment options for pulmonary hypertension. Keep in mind, here's how you should approach a patient with pulmonary hypertension. Your goal is to reverse vasoactive substance imbalance. You want to give patients vasodilators and decrease the vasoconstriction. You also want to prevent any sort of stress on the right ventricle, which may cause right ventricular failure, and so anything you can do to decrease wall stress is recommended. Generally, the first line option is supportive, such as giving oxygen to maintain inadequate SAO2 levels, um, diuretics to decrease right ventricular wall stress, digoxin to control rate and rhythm, and dobutamine is used um, in cases of decompensated pulmonary hypertension. These are supportive measures. The key measures you want to focus on as well include the vasodilators. In the vasodilators, starting off with a PD-5 inhibitor such as sildenafil um, is recommended to increase vasodilation. In addition to that, calcium channel blockers like nifedipine, uh, diltiazem are all recommended as first line. And also understand that these have been proven to decrease mortality and so have the IV prostacyclines such as epoprostenolol. Um, Calcium channel blockers can cause hypotension and lower limb edema, whereas the epoprostenolol can cause flushing, jaw pain, abdominal cramps, nausea, etc. Also, prostacycline analogs such as um, treprostanil is recommended. And again, understand that endothelial 1 antagonists like bosanitan, which has side effects of increased liver function tests, headache, anemia, and edema may be recommended for patients who have New York Heart Association Class 3 or 4. And so really, your approach is going to be looking at supportive measures initially and then trying a calcium channel blocker. If that fails, you would want to risk stratify the patient for their um, New York Heart classification. And if they're um, at a 3 or a 4 New York heart association classification, then you want to try the prostacycline analogs such as um, bosanitan, epoprostenolol, or sildenafil. And if they're class 4, then you would want to try the epoprostenolol, which is the IV prostacycline. Now, if these oral medications for vasodilation fail, then you would want to try combination therapy between a oral medication and supportive measure. And finally, if everything fails, then you'd want to try an interventional procedure like an atrial septostomy. Keep in mind that um, you know you want to treat the underlying causes if there's signs of secondary pulmonary hypertension, whether uh, patients present with Crest syndrome, lupus, uh, ASD, VSD, PDAs, or patients um, are on any kind of drugs and toxins. Um, you want to rule out, you know, causes of COPD, interstitial lung disease, sleep apnea, acute pulmonary embolism, sarcoidosis. All these are things you want to address first if there are signs of secondary pulmonary hypertension. This was a review for the ComlexFlashcards.com podcast series. Please visit us at ComlexFlashcards.com and good luck in your board review preparation.